Hey everyone, this is part two of this Grow Watt transformer. I just wanted to uh, make a video real quick showing people of it mounted up to uh, up next to the uh, five kilowatt inverter from Grow Watt. It is a pretty big unit, so a couple of things that I would recommend is if you're going to mount this thing up high, like the way I did it, you're probably going to need a second pair of hands because it is quite a hassle trying to get this thing up on the wall. I had to put it this close to the inverter because uh, there was a stud on this side that was the only stud that I could hit to hold the weight. Um, so unfortunately it put it this close to the inverter. This side, this anchor, I kind of played hell with it. Uh, I tried to use like regular picture anchors for sheetrock, it was not working. So I ran over to Home Depot and I picked up this uh, this wall anchor here and it worked uh, perfectly. I think this was like five or six bucks. So. The fact that it is really heavy, you may need a second pair of hands getting it up there. The only other thing that I kind of had a gripe with was these uh, flat tip um, screws in here that anchor down the wires. This opening is very small. You need a very small screwdriver to get in there to actually tighten down those lugs. I had to use a Gerber uh, tool to get in there. It was only the smallest flat tip that I had that I can actually put some uh, torque on. So I used that to get in there. Um, for this, this ground wire, I actually ran out of green wire, so I just used a, a neutral wire to ground it out here. Um, so it took me a little bit. You know, this has an input here and an output. I'm assuming um, what they want you to do is just run this inverter straight to this input and bypass any kind of uh, fuse block here and then you're going to have your output going from here back to your fuse block um, I think I have a little bit of redundancy here by having these extra fuses uh, However, I, I don't think it's hurting anything. I'd rather have more fuses than not enough fuses So I think the way that I did it is perfectly fine. I am NOT an electrician. So I'm not telling you how to wire anything in any certain way Please uh, do things the right way if you're going to do this to your house. I'm, I'm hoping the way I did it is fine um, time will tell. So it took me quite a while to do this because I am a bit of a perfectionist. I like to have things a certain way. Um, um, I'm not quite ready to fire anything up. I need to finish making the uh, two gauge wires that go from the batteries up to the inverter. So I'll do that a little bit later today. And I'll be able to post a video of, to show you guys um, the amp draw uh, as if it was, the, I think the solar edge, I can't remember how many watts that the this particular inverter and the solar edge uh, drew on amps, but I'll be able to test that out as well to tell you guys exactly how many amps it draws uh, idling. So it'll be interesting if you guys have any questions, uh, just let me know. I'm continuously uh, working on this thing, getting it getting it going, and hopefully get solar plumped in this uh, this summer. So, all right, guys, thank you.